Hello! Today we are unboxing five anime figures. I have had these three figures um, since our trip in Japan, January, February. So they've been in their boxes. And I am not like. <laughs> the only reason they've been in their boxes is because I've been waiting to unbox them. So I was going to unbox them individually and like, review them individually, but. I decided to just unbox them today along with these two anime figures that I got from Treehouse Toys. Oh, down here. Um, Treehouse Toys is a great toy chain that is only in Edmonton and Calgary, I believe, in Alberta, Canada. But they have a great online website with imported toys. They're Korean based and they carry like, a lot of Pokemon plush, anime figures. Sanrio items, Sanrio plush, Sanrio stationery, and um, they also have like K-pop albums, and yeah, I, it's one of my favorite stores in Calgary. But I won a gift card on Instagram, and that's the first thing I've ever won in my entire life, so that was pretty cool. Um, I don't feel like I really have <laughs> room for plushies anymore. Uh, this couch, like I can't even sit on this couch anymore. So I do want to reorganize my plushies. I just dusted my doll room upstairs and um, I'm in the middle of <laughs> attempting to carve um, a life face plate right now, like a fake life, I guess they're called. Uh, so yeah, that's been taking up a lot of my time, but I really wanted to unbox these anime figures and get them on display. I actually uh, reserved like these four cubbies for something. Previous, they had those boxes with my pull-up doll clothes, which I've just um, brought upstairs. And I'm not collecting toys to like keep them in their boxes and like resell them later or like keep their value um, high by keeping them in their boxes. I just really like seeing them in their boxes. I, I love the experience. Like I think that this chariot chariot <laughs> it's, that's a chariot right <laughs> i think that this chariot or technically what does it say on the front carriage royal carriage <gasps> i think it looks so cute in its box with like all the like whoops little like extra things um that come with it like all in its little place on display and of course been subscribed here you would know I love full of dolls in their boxes but yeah um, I want to get the full experience of all of my toys um, and unbox them all and uh, put them on display out of their boxes but I do like um, toy packaging and especially these anime figures like the packaging is really pretty just focus here get the light in here we go <laughs> that's better yeah, like, oh my goodness, like this art here on the side of the box is so pretty and then her mic is like on this red cord and then she's just got this very, um, it kind of reminds me of like, she looks like a really wonderful, um, like dessert to me, <laughs> like a matcha licorice type of like cream puff, but she looks really classy here, like you always see Hatsune Miku looking like super uwu. Um, of course she has many, many, many depictions, but I guess this one is the artist masterpiece. And I think my friend was saying that they come out with these uh, once a year or every so often. Um, I really loved her stand as well. I really like these neutral tones um, and warm tones in dolls. Like I love the, Lol the Lolita dolls and like the cream colored dolls. Um, but I just love how they depict like the anime figure on the box. They show you all the sides. And this is the Hatsune Miku Latidos 2022 version. So yeah, I'm really excited to unbox her. This is a noodle stopper or like a bookshelf girl. Um, and she looks like a younger version of Hatsune Miku. I saw this on Instagram. So when I saw it in Japan, I was like, oh, I really didn't want to have this. Um, I love her outfit. Uh, she's very, very girl and very, very cute. And um, yeah, I think she's a tiny little girl. I don't know where I'll put her, but uh, we'll see. 
and then I really love uh, <laughs> anime smut and <laughs> lewd anime girls. I have like a lewd anime girl pillow and I bought some uh, Dujinshi, am I saying that right? Dujinshi magazines in Japan. Uh, she is super sexy and I love that she's like this little demon girl. I have some demon horns myself, um, some ram horns and yeah, she's got like the little devil wings and uh, yeah, I just thought she was really cool looking. I noticed her in um, a display case and I messaged my friend and I was like, hey, can you find me this anime figure? Uh, he was in Osaka while we were there and um, yeah, he was able to like hook me up. And so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I have like some black things in here and like some red things in here but um not like dominantly a ton of red or black but I, I will figure out how to display or, or if anything I'll just like display the ugly figures together and then from treehouse toys and feels <laughs> feel free to like skip past all this jibber jabber um I got this Hatsumiku aqua float girls um I thought the boxes were really, really cute, and I just love how she's in this floaty. I decided to get these girls because it's summertime, and I just want to have some, like, summery-looking girls in the room. And then here's another uh, day to live. I don't know. I watched the first episode of the anime, and I don't know. I wasn't, like, super pulled in, but um, definitely it's an anime that obviously has some fan service, and she is, like, a high fan service anime figure she was kind of like the highest not the highest well you know one of the more uh, lewd ones um and i think she's just really cute i love her outfit and her blonde hair and i, I like that she has like the one open arm like yeah. <laughs> and she's barefoot i really like that as well so yeah let's get these girls <laughs> So let's start with Noodle Stopper Girl. So my throat is, it's a little raspy. My voice is like a little raspy, sorry. I'll try to make it more feminine and, and not sound <laughs> so ago. But I was carving the Blythe faceplate and um, I was wearing like my 3M mask and I swear I was like holding my breath. Like I was just not, oh my gosh. There's tape on the side, girl. I was just not breathing, and I kind of went to town. Um, I was surprised that my Dremel hadn't died. I told myself, okay, I'm gonna like work on this faceplate until my Dremel dies. Uh, but it just wasn't dying, and I made the biggest mistake of like not marking her nose and her mouth before I started going at her, and I kind of like turned her into like Michael Jackson, like plastic surgery like gone even more wrong oh this tattoo is so cute um yeah she's like a little little girl but um yeah <laughs> now I woke up today it was up till like one in the morning working on this face plate and I woke up today and now my throat's really raspy so there is that oh my gosh ah, she is so cute so here she is first glance really cute her hair is like transparent so it's a little more opaque there and then yeah she's really well made I love her so cute holy oh my gosh so I know that normally I have oh my gosh I have to redo my nails I know that normally I have like really refined um, hyper edited videos and I really love editing videos like it's one of my um, like favorite pastimes but it takes up a lot of time and I can spend like two hours editing a video and that is time that I could be <laughs> hanging out with my dolls um, and so I'm just trying to leverage my time a better Oh my gosh, her little hair clips, her tattoo. Oh my gosh, I love her. I was actually really curious about how her face was going to turn out because she's got like kind of these blush marks that on the box look very kind of like, oh my gosh, that animation on the box is so cute. Ah, 
Yeah, I love this box. I, I want to put it on display. Um, it kind of looked like a little bit scratchy-ish. Let's see if we can see these hearts in her eyes. Oh, you totally can. Cute. Oh, I love her little frowny face. But no, yeah, I love how she turned out. She's so pretty. And pink and blue, which just really marry together very nicely. The little headphones. Are, are those headphones? Oh my god, I thought these were headphones. It's it's just a little marking on her beret. So it looks like the like in color of her beret is supposed to be like baby blue, because you can see that there. Where should we put her? I didn't know where to put her, so I've just put her there for now. Although, I guess if I put like the anime figures on this first shelf over here, she might be cute, like sitting off the edge. Aw, she's so little. Or I guess I should say she's so small. It's like a thing the young kids say now, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll have her patiently waiting there. It's kind of liberating. <laughs> Not to like worry too much about the filming quality and like over editing. It's just, just raw. <laughs> just the raw experience here. Um, yeah. <laughs> On a side note, I've just been kind of um, up and down and up and down with my mental. Um, mm. Should I sip on my coffee? Let's go with her next. I've just been up and down and up and down with my, um, my, my mental <laughs> wellness, I guess I should say, ever since I uh, retired from being an exotic dancer and um, just like a mixture of feelings. But one thing that I know for certain, oh, I'm gonna put the packaging away that I am very, very relieved um, about is that I no longer uh, will be kind of customer facing with the type of clientele that um, I previously had dealt with. And yeah, I was in the industry and it was like, so this girl was actually the display girl at the Treehouse Toys. and. Um, she was uh, in good condition. I wasn't too worried about her, but she does have like, you know, little marks uh, here and there, like one little one here, one little one here, and I will go get a magic eraser and they'll, they'll likely come out, but otherwise she's in really good condition. Just pop her in front of the camera. Here's her braid, very, very pretty. And yeah, she's in like kind of like a little lingerie set or a little swimsuit. This seems to be like somewhat clear. Oh, and it's even got a texture on it. Same material as what's on her little wrist cuffs or her little wrist cuffs is the same material, I should say. And yeah, her hair is really pretty. I like the way that it falls. Oh, I can totally see the allure. I was a little bit like, I, I would always watch anime figures on YouTube and um, just kind of live vicariously through other people's collections and enjoy it that way. But I always wanted to have some anime figures of my own. And I've only unboxed two uh, before today, like aside from like little surprise boxes. And I was kind of like, no, nah, I'd rather have dolls because you know, you can play with them. But just the way that the hair falls on her, like that is so pretty. And I love anime so much. Um, I watch it every single week. Sometimes every other day, I was like the other night, like reading manga for like three hours straight. And um, it's so cool to have like these 3D anime figures. Um, what is that? <laughs> I think I hear um, like some kids whistling outside. It's really cool to have like a, an anime character, right? right in your home and it's 3D. So I do really see the allure of collecting anime figures. Um, of course you don't play with them after, but they really do display beautifully. And oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Oh no, <laughs> this feels dangerous. 
yeah, what I really wanted to collect, like in terms of anime figures, what I actually really wanted to have was um, like a very lewd anime figure collection <laughs> because uh, I don't know, I just love like sexual liberation. I think that it's underrated in society. And of course, um, you know, to each their own. I, uh, this is dusty. I, um, don't, I'm not really like an advocate for putting that out there, um, you know, like overly, like publicly. Like, I'm definitely more conservative in my own um, personal expression coffee drip on the floor. Careful. Um, I'm definitely a more conservative. Like when I go out in public with my family, with my son, with my partner, like I wear super baggy clothes. I don't put on makeup. Um, I don't really like, I just feel more comfortable that way. But um, in terms of like, you know, going to work at the club, of course, you, you do have to look a certain way. And then, like, what I decide to have in this room, which is locked, and, and my son doesn't come in here, uh, is up to me. And actually, my friend was like, why do you have this, like, fascination with, like, lewd anime figures? And, like, why do you want a lewd anime figure collection? Like, why have you been resharing all these, like, lewd dolls and, like, lewd anime dolls? Like, Angel Philia <laughs> photography that one Angel Philia main doll that you always see that's like got that really lewd face. And I was like, I just think it's liberating and um, underrated and I've healed a lot of my own trauma from being an exotic dancer. And um, I think it's like a safe place as well um, where people can express, like anime artists can express themselves, um, mangakas can express, can express themselves and a lot of people um, don't express this aspect of themselves and there's a lot of like social sexual uh repression and it's like really taboo um and i do like in japan that like people aren't like overtly talking about it although maybe they should uh but that you can just walk into like kind of like a smutty adult store <laughs> and um it's like not really a big deal if uh, people find out that uh, you know, if, if you're in one of these stores, it's, it's like this too in North America. I mean, people aren't super, uh, you know, weird about sex shops and, and stuff like that. Let's bring this girl over here. But I mean, there's definitely still um, a stigma, I think. And aw, yeah, okay. There's definitely still a stigma, I think, and um, there's definitely like a lack of, of conversation and education, even with children or younger people. Uh, and there's definitely like some uh, ridicule or even some condemnation uh, to people, and there really shouldn't be, like to each their own. Uh, there's triggers, maybe from repression or trauma, and um, you know there are conversations that can be had, education that can be offered, so that people don't get triggered and people can heal through their trauma. And most of all, I think it's fun. <laughs> I think it's fun um, just having, like, you know, just allowing my <laughs> mind and consciousness to feast a little bit on some like smutty anime stuff. But, you know, all in balance, like you can't be, <laughs> for my, oops, for myself personally, I'm not trying to um, consume <laughs> that every single day. I'm not like a flat out perm. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's definitely like one of my fetishes and um, uh, mostly lewd anime <laughs> girls, although I do have a lot of like BL manga and um, just some anime boys are just drawn like so beautifully but it's just more so uh i just love like the structure of the the male anime male face and like two anime male faces being romantic it's just like a really beautiful picture as is yuri but i actually have more boys love manga than i do yuri manga okay so i'm gonna have to 
right with where these box is. Ooh, just put it over here. That way it can Thank you. You know what? Who is next? La, 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 la. I think I'll save her for last because she might be. Well, I don't want to say my favorite, but um, she's so different from the rest. I'm really looking forward to her. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, I need fun. <laughs> I need fun in my life. I had so much fun when I was an exotic dancer. Um, and that is one of the things I do miss. I do miss like the girls. I do miss like the environment, watching stage shows and like some customers are really, really like funny or like talk and smack back to a customer. That's what I, I do. I did like about the industry is like, you don't have to take crap from customers. Whereas like in most customer facing environments, like the customer's always right, but it's not in the case of being an exotic dancer because some people are super not right. And uh, there were just like, a, you know, situations where um, like let's say like some escorts or other girls would come in and like try to steal the business of my friends and I and then I would just go and like tell them off <laughs> and um, yeah I miss kind of fun stuff like that or if somebody was being rude or prejudiced or racist I could just like swear at them and bitch at them like right to their face and um, of course your boss doesn't really want you to be that way but every boss is different and uh, it's a freelance contractor type environment so it's not like I don't know in, in in the clubs that I work like nobody really ever got fired unless it was something really out there you, you would get reprimanded maybe like banned for a week oh I'm so glad I got her I wasn't sure after I bought her because they had like quite a few to pick from but this is so cool it's like it's plastic but it looks like it could be like blown up. This floaty is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's going on? <laughs> what's going on here? What? So she could she could like display on her own. She doesn't technically like need to have her floaty. Ah. <laughs> She's so cool. I love that she like her bathing suit is like it looks like patent leather. Like they really got the texture down there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's not in focus. There we go. Oh my gosh. She's cute. But um, as a Scorpio, I'm also very solitary and I'm a solitary witch as well. And I also like to call myself like a solitary um, doll collector or toy collector. I really prefer playing with dolls um, by myself. But um, yeah, it's just like hyper social environment uh, for five years. And then I taught yoga full time. Before that, fitness and yoga. And that is also a highly social environment. So I'm, I'm also really enjoying like the solitary vibe and just like really um, looking within and spending time with myself and, and just being with myself. Okay, so does this, what's going on here? So this, is that, whoa, <laughs> dude, that is so cute, I love it, what, why are you so adorable, holy, oh my gosh, I would pick her up and just like, <laughs> just like, you're so cute, oh my goodness, ugh. Is that how you say it? I'm a total stan for pets and you do. I wish you were I wish you were my wife. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. So it's a bit strange. You definitely can't display her on her own because of this arm. This arm would be like a little bit weird. I mean I guess Yeah. She she needs to be having her arm on something. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. Close up. Kind of how her outfit looks almost um well it is I'm pretty sure it would be like a patent leather kind of latex so they really did capture that um and then she's got like 
this is just like cyber thing going on. Ooh, I like the like straps on her suit. She's got a little, <laughs> little high cut bottoms there. My, my, my. <laughs> my um, old French boyfriend would have said, ooh la 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 la. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's so cute. I love her goggles. I like the little like blush marks, the little lines. And yeah, she's she's adorable. There is one tiny little like flaw on her hair there. But that's okay. Maybe I could um, magic eraser it. If it doesn't come out, I could try and match the hair color and just like just dab the tiniest amount of paint. I love that her toes are like spread up here too. That is so cute. Okay. A little bit of clear. You notice that on my first um Hudson Riku anime figure also had like some transparency in her hair. I wonder if they're all like that. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's got her little tattoo. Whoa. Okay, so I think we'll have wait, what is the box? What's going on here with the box? Aw, I wanna get a picture of her like with some sand too. That would be so cute. Okay. Focus, focus. Hmm. So she has the zero one under her arm, but I kind of want to have it like showing. Yeah, cute. This box is just so special. I love like the colors, the pink, the blue. It's like more of a turquoise title. Oh my gosh. I swear, like, <laughs> I've got to go get my son now from his biological father's. So I have to continue this fun excursion a little later. It's always the case. There's always a little bit of a time limit when you are a parent and you're trying to do fun stuff by yourself. La la la. Oh, here we go. It's like a process, but turn this one off. Ooh. And really should kind of rig all my lights together. Blah. <laughs> Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I have, <laughs> I have 20 minutes to unbox these. Got my little one and I told him that he can do whatever he wants for half an hour while I go and do a few things that I need to do. So, oh, I was gonna save her for last, right. Ooh, so pretty, oh my goodness. I'm excited. Okay. It's so official. It's got like, I feel like she definitely could use her own unboxing video. It's been three to four hours filming and editing. I will do that for maybe a pull up doll. I unbox the 6% um, Doki Doki doll. It took me about two hours to unbox her and film her kind of in the way that I wanted with the angles uh, that I got. And that took me another about hour and a half to edit the video. It takes another kind of hour to upload. And then you can just leave it, but you do want to get the HD version or the 4K version. So that version doesn't upload right away, so it needs some time. Stomping about up there. <laughs> oh, this is on good. A couple pieces of tape. Oh, it is hot out there today, and I got my cycle. So that's nice. <laughs> I'll be sure to try and play with 
much toys as I can because it's very stress relieving. And when I have any amounts of stress, I tend to get these migraines, but I also have to eat the right amount of red meat as well. Okay. Oh my goodness. Huela Namoji Vi Star Studio. So it looks like there's three people <clears throat> they credited. Oh my gosh. should have facing out is like because I, I, I put the boxes like over there for now so I think I'll face them up to the side I'm do that right now. now I feel like I have to go and get like my supersonico box I think her box is actually pretty big I don't know if it would actually fit down there I'd have to measure it I tried to stuff them all together I like think there's one bin over there but no can do. It didn't, it didn't work out. Okay. Let's get official here. Got my phone light on too, so there's even more light. Let's straighten this out. Okay. <laughs> I actually, I cleaned the basement earlier today. actually funny because um we saw some hat suits. oh this is so pretty it's this like peach toned peach one of my favorite colors bow oh my goodness i didn't really notice that on the box it's so gorgeous um well, we saw some hatsune miku hatsune hatsune um miku posters at toys r us and i i bought two my partner and i and then he was showing them to my son and he was like I want one I want he was like I want this one and he just like claimed one right away <laughs> and I just let him have it and it, there's actually no room for it down here really I can't even think of where it would go in this room anymore so now one of the posters looks upstairs <laughs> and his cousin who's like nine eight or nine he saw the poster and he's like she's hot <laughs> Hey, so what is this? I don't know. Um, okay, so the foot goes in here, and then this is kind of like a supporting peg. Got it. Got it. This is the 2022 version. Latidos. Latidos. All right. Oh my Oh my gosh, I'm looking at my one for scale ball jointed doll, my fairy castle, Ayumi. And she is looking so cute. She's in her doll delights lingerie. And I want to play with her so badly right now. <laughs> I'm looking at her and I really want to play with her. Here's one of the bows. Pretty. It's kind of like a chocolate brown. You can see the color. And, uh, <laughs> but, oh my gosh. I feel like it's really dark. I had some additional lighting earlier. Let me turn that on. Okay, I think that's 
way better. <laughs> that is much brighter. And then I don't even have my cell phone light on anymore, but I wonder if that would make a difference. So I just put my hand over top of it. Yeah, maybe. Definitely. I mean, it's another LED light. All right. Oh, I already noticed there's a little mark on the skirt. Tiny little black mark on the skirt. I noticed that right away. If you can see it or not. Right there. Tiny, tiny little thing, but oh my gosh. Oh, there too. I wonder if this has happened before, so I'm just gonna magic eraser and, and hope for the best. But oh my gosh, look at this skirt. It's so pretty. Whoa. Yeah, the construction of anime figures are really quite cool. I mean, it's just, it looks so lifelike. And a doll's not gonna look like this. It's not gonna have, like it's obviously it's outfits, not plastic. And um, there's a quality to a doll that's just very realistic and, and playable. But yeah, this is uh, still really cool. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, so there's a system here. Let's uh, get her foot in. Okay, so <gasps> come on, girl. This is, yeah, the... Hilarious. Oh my goodness. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I can hear him upstairs on his Discord freaking out. He showed me uh, PewDiePie. He was showing me the famous YouTubers that he knows, and we were talking about like the play button. Um, a silver one, and then he was like wanting to show me PewDiePie's play button. Wow, look at this. Okay, so where does this thing go? Just somewhere underneath the back, and just just here, I guess. I'm guessing somewhere. <clears throat> I don't know, that doesn't seem right. Here, this is where it would go. I think. So. Yeah, turn her around. Oh my gosh, what a position. So cute. She's like leaning. She's floating. Okay. Sorry, <gasps> I'm gonna hear some heavy breathing here, and uh, you're just here. You're just along for the ride. Not a bunch of production value here in this video, but um, that seems right. Yeah, I feel good about that. All right. Okay, so we just have a body. We have a we have hips. Oh, there she is. So I don't know. That's the one thing about anime figures. I really prefer the mouth for whatever reason open a closed mouth on an anime figure to me is like a real hit or miss so i'm not sure if i'm like i i, I love this figure it's really pretty but i don't know if i'm overly jazzed up about the mouth it's sweet and i actually don't mind the closed mouth because it's kind of frowning of like the noodle stopper girl but i don't know eh. But once I get her body on, maybe my thing will change. So maybe I should have done this part first. Okay. Is that secure? I don't know if it should go down even like one or two more millimeters. Oh, yeah. It seems like this. Oh, no. I thought that this was. No, that's a notch for a bow. I'm taking her off, I think. Oh no. Damn. I'm scared. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, my lanta. Don't. Can I? Okay. I gotta do this off camera here. I'm 
wiggling. It's freaky. Hold on. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not too jazzed about this tiny little, there's like a little mark here, and I don't know if I can, I don't think that'll magic eraser out. Um, but maybe I could polish it out with my new Dremel, but I'm also super freaked out to do that. So I may just leave it as it is. I, I do love her more, obviously, like put together. Um, she's really cute, but yeah, the mouse. <laughs> I don't know if I love the mouse. Oh, she is really pretty. I like her sleeves, I like this little clear. Um, I love this outfit. I think it's so elegant and classy and yeah. I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad about um, the mouse. I wasn't sure how it was gonna be. I fell in love with her on the box. But yeah. Gotta, oh my God, I'm doing this off camera again. I got it. Okay. I don't know if this is a flaw or not, but there is a little, it, it almost looks like a, a divot or something in her chest. Like on the fabric, you can kind of see it here. And maybe there's too much light. See that? I don't know. It looks like an indentation. I don't know if, the, if it's just like the way the fabric is supposed to be, if it means to be a fold or not, but I am not too sure. You can see it much better now. So. I don't know. I also feel like with the hair pieces, they're like sticking out a little to me. And you can kind of see a little bit of the peg there and then also on the back of this one. But for the life of me, and I did not want to be like crazy aggressive, I just could not push it in all the way, all the way. And I don't know if I'm just, I'll try a final, a final time here, but I don't know if I'm just that's just how it is or not if it's supposed to be like flush right to I mean it, it looks beautiful and um, I think it's fine as it is but yeah I don't know okay for how grand she is like her stand her garment I think she's so pretty and gorgeous but I don't know if I'm like amazingly jazzed up about the mouse, but I think once I put her all together here and I have her on display, then there will be, she will have a, a little bit of a different vibe. Maybe down the road I could get somebody. I feel like it's not straight, but it works. There, that's straight. Okay, that feels sturdy. That feels good. Let's put away her packaging. Okay, it's not just me. I swear on the box. I think it's, I don't think it's just me. That her face looks a little more round. And so, it looks like her smile is also not so like smiley, like it's a little bit, it's it's not as smiley and long. And then her face looks more round to me here. Whereas on the actual anime figure that I got, or maybe how they actually turned out, her smile to me looks more smiley. Okay. Do you guys agree? And can I get them in the same frame? There we go. Yeah. There. Yeah, her face looks more narrow, like her chin looks more pointy. Um, and then her smile seems more smiley or like longer than it does on the actual box. So I, I think that's where I'm, I'm maybe taking it back. But still, she's super cute. So I'll just show you her like with everyone. I'll show them all together. 
um, how I have them, how I'll put them displayed over there on the side. And then, uh, yeah, we'll review her a little bit more in detail when I, when I put them together. I don't know, I don't know if she kind of matches the color and aesthetic of these girls, so I think she'll go on her own shelf. Hey, I saved my favorite one for last. They're not like super, super high price point anime figures, so they're not like, you know, like crazy, super high quality. I've seen some really high quality anime figures on YouTube, but um, for the price point, I think they're special. And, yeah, I'm really loving them. Their, their presence and my stream room I love sexy gothic Lolita I think it's just so special and whoa oh my gosh oh, yo I love her stop oh my gosh get out oh she is so Oh, so cute. Whoa. It was actually these super sexy, super cute. Um, I think it's called Imomo. Imomo dolls. Um, I wanted to get them. They're like sexy um, nuns. And they have like the anime figure hair, like the plastic hair. But, um,. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to go back to Japan, and so, I don't know, if it's meant to be, I'll get them after Japan, or who knows, maybe in Japan or something, but, uh, yeah, look at the stand, so pretty, now I feel like I have to watch the anime, although the first episode really didn't get me, is there more versions? I feel like it's a really big thing because I've just seen so much day to live stuff at like conventions and like an actual themed like car. Hey, she's got this piece of hair, but like, doesn't she really have like a peg? This is so sad. It was it was broken. It must have like broke off in the box. But I don't, I don't understand. Like, I have um, like resin and really glue, so I will repair her. But that is so sad. I don't know about the color of these tights. Also, I love them, and I think they're supposed to be pantyhose. But I think like fishnet would have been maybe cuter. I don't know. I still love her though. She is so cute and like. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I want this outfit. <laughs> I would wear this. This is so cute. I love her. Either way, even though she's broken, I actually got her for a really, really good deal. She was not expensive at all. Um, the little like bows on her heels are so cute too. But yeah, it's um, a little bit of a bummer. Not uh, here. It was broken like that. So I think for now, I'll just... So I gotta get back to my mother, my motherly duties. Mm. A little something on her face. Maybe I'll just sticky tack it for now. No, no, I gotta glue it like now. <gasps> okay, so I just put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on a toothpick and hopefully I used a bit of um, painter's tape and hopefully that does the trick. I'm just gonna turn this light down a bit. I think it's like a bit bright and washing her out. But otherwise, I love her. She is really, really cute. I particularly love her outfit. Um, I love that it's like a little bit clear on the bottom part of her skirt. And then I also really love her garter belt and like her little devil tail that's floating is really, really cute. So I didn't think that she really like went, I don't think she could like go beside her or like go beside them. So I felt like she just had to have her own shelf and then 
I'll just like theme the shelf accordingly. Her hair also does have also like that, um, also, 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 <laughs> that transparency towards the end of the hair, which um, I, I, I think all of them have, except for this blonde girl. So I put the uh, la di da, <laughs> la di dos, la di dos uh, version, la di dos 2022 version, Hatsune Miku. Um, by herself over here on her own shelf and this is kind of like how they look pulled back I don't particularly um, really like like all of these cords and stuff here and I might even move this dehumidifier out of here once and for all I turned off like the special neon lights so sometimes the lighting here just looks a little different uh, without those neon lights but I think I like the anime figures there for now I'm uh yeah I'm into it and then I put these three girls together Do -do -do. for now I mean this is subject to change and I feel like these um shelf like it might be a little bare here obviously but um, I think they look really cute there and then I decided to just put the boxes down here for now and then yeah I said we could look a little bit more at the Hatsune Miku Latidos version so she's really really pretty and like I'm just gonna rotate her she's got these cute boots it looks like she's kind of like floating she doesn't have the red um, cord for her whoops nope that's not fixed microphone but um, I did press this bow into her back and the back of her is really pretty too. It's even uh, worthy of its own, um, <laughs> like even just the back, <laughs> this floating ribbon, <laughs> just display her facing the wall. That's not very nice, but this is also really quite gorgeous. Um, and she just has a lot of detail and character. I love, love, love this girl. It's really poofy. And <laughs> despite this little mark here, she's fantastic. So I think she's fine on her own, like that. Maybe I'll center her on the shelf. And uh, it would be nice for them to have, I kind of like her at an angle too. Yeah, I like the angle. It would be nice to have like some little lights in here, but I decided to like turn on all the lights that I normally have on in this room, when I'm in this room. And so, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to take this down or I should just get like a good official curtain. Um, because yeah, I don't want, um, sometimes when we have the studio on the other side being rented, uh, I don't want anybody looking in here. So I actually really like them there. I think they look really pretty. I, I don't know if I like how the Barbie's feet are like hanging over the edge and then it kind of takes away from, um, that anime figure on that shelf. So I may have to kind of come up with a different solution for those Barbies. I tried to put Hatsune Miku on this shelf here, but it just didn't work out. I didn't like the way that she looked up here. It didn't make sense. Um, and I like having the space for like stuff. Um, sometimes I put like, uh, you know, just like doll stuff that I'm working with, little props and stuff when I'm using this table. So yeah. There you have it. My new anime figures are officially on display. And here were the other two that I had. Um, I have like this really pretty edited video of unboxing this girl. And then here is my Super Sonico girl, who's actually a really decent price. Um, and I think she just recently got released in pink too. I think I might've seen her uh, also in black and maybe red, I don't know for sure. But thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, drop a, a line in the comments. Don't be shy. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, enjoy playing with your toys and your dolls this week.